A few weeks ago, I made an announcement about taking some technical diving courses with the goal of becoming a tech diver. Well, I'm happy to report I've finally completed the required courses and dives, and as of right now, I'm officially a tech diver. Here's a little bit about my journey. After signing up for my courses with Dowin Tech Divers, I began some e-learning through the TDI website. Here I studied decompression procedures and advanced nitrox, two courses required for becoming an open circuit tech diver. Next, it was time for some classroom instruction, which was held at Atmosphere Resorts and Spa. Recently named Best Seaside Resort in Asia by Hot Grandeur, Atmosphere Resorts and Spa was a great place to go back to school. They have a five-star diving program, arranged all of my dives, and in between classes, I could grab lunch at the restaurant or a cold drink at the poolside bar. Once the classroom instruction was complete, it was time for my instructor and I to get in the water to practice skills. It was difficult unlearning 18 years worth of recreational diving habits, and I'm still practicing my trim, buoyancy, and propulsion. My instructor simulated a variety of challenges one might encounter on a dive, and I had to use my training to solve those challenges. Here I am practicing a 15 meter no air swim, where we simulate the need to swim up to 15 meters away to get additional breathing gas. It was not easy, but I did it on the first try. Having gone through it, I actually feel safer in the water now than when I was an advanced open water diver. Next, we went on two simulated deep dives to 30 meters, where we worked on problem solving, gas switching, following a decompression schedule, and SMB deployment, among many other things. Deploying an SMB, or surface marker buoy, without changing depth in the water is something I struggled with initially. Maintaining buoyancy is very important when conducting a decompression stop, so I actually went on a separate dive just to practice this skill over and over, which I think I finally mastered. Finally, it was time for the real thing. My first dives to 45 meters, where I would be tested on everything I had learned in the classroom and in the water. I made some big mistakes on those first dives. It was difficult remembering all of the critical procedures as well as looking after my buddy, making sure he was following them too. My instructor and I both agreed I needed a few more dives to let the information sink in, no pun intended, and demonstrate that I was truly ready to be a tech diver. But finally, on my fourth deep dive, I did it. Dumaguete area and considering becoming a tech diver, I highly recommend Dawin Tech Divers. I was grateful for the excellent instruction I received as well as the patience and helpfulness of my instructor, Gabe Ryu. I also encourage you to check out Atmosphere Resorts and Spa. Meet the staff and see the fantastic dive facilities there for yourself. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the water.